Uh, please remember to remain muted during the presentation. Uh, questions during the presentation can be typed in chat chat box and we will answer at the end of the presentation once we open things for questions. Uh, this presentation is being recorded. Uh, my name is Salman Shahid, and I will be the project manager for this project. Uh, I wanted to take a moment to uh, thank uh, Council Member N Zade uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, Council Member, would you like to say uh, or share anything before we begin? Yep, just want to thank everybody for participating and staff for putting these meetings together to get out important information. And I'm here if anybody has any questions for me. Thank you. All right, thank you, Council Member. Um, so th this is the community public meeting for a uh, Monticello area in Jasmine street, uh, street rehabilitation project. Uh, my name is Salman Shahid and I will be the project manager for this project. Uh, Neil Kaim would be the city inspector for this project. And we have a contractor Maku and corporation who will be doing the flat work and all the, uh, concrete work in this area. The cost of the project is approximately $3 million. And we anticipate to start uh, uh, the flat work on April uh, 2021. And we expect to finish by the October 2021. So we, we have uh, divided this uh, project into two phases. In the uh, phase one, we'll be doing the ADA compliant uh, curb ramps, and we'll also be uh, uh, reconstructing and fixing some of the curbs and gutters uh, in the area. Uh, we'll be, uh, we'll be uh, replacing some of the uh, sidewalks that are, uh, that are uh, tripping hazard, that, they have, that have tripping hazards, and uh, uh, also we are also filling up some of the gaps in between the sidewalks uh, in the area. Uh, we'll, we'll be uh, replacing limited driveway approaches also in this area. Uh, and in phase two, uh, we, we would be uh, resurfacing the road uh, with the pavement uh, asphalt re resurfacing. So the first uh, phase, uh, which includes the ramp, sidewalk, uh, curbs, and gutters, uh, we would start that in April uh, of uh, this year, and we'll be finishing in October 2021, uh, the same year. And uh, so the the project is uh, in two different areas. Uh, one of them is the Monticello area. So here in on the screen, you can see the project limits for the Monticello area. Uh, we'll be uh, doing uh, uh, some work on the, we'll, we'll actually uh, replacing all the ramps, which are not ADA compliant in all those highlighted areas. And also we'll be fixing uh, some of the sidewalks and the curbs and gutters. <coughs> Uh, after we are done with that, in the second phase, we'll be uh, uh, repaving all the uh, streets that are highlighted. Uh, you might see some of them on uh, are already done, uh, which is like uh, uh, on the uh, the um, north side of this uh, Monticello area. Yes, few streets are already done. So the second area of this. Uh, Project is the Jessamine Street. Uh, we'll be uh, doing a limited area of that. Uh, also, we'll be repaving uh, once we'll be done with the flat work. Uh, all the sidewalks and the ramps would be uh, done in the phase one, and later on, we'll be repaving this uh, road. So, just to see. Uh, what 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 to expect? What we are doing right now uh, on the on the left side of the screen, you can see the actual picture of the uh, curb and uh, curb, which is uh, pretty much damaged, and uh, 
settle down from different areas and we'll be fixing all those and the picture on the right side you can see uh, how how it would look like after we we are done with this uh, construction work similarly uh, we see uh, a lot of areas where we don't have any ramps at all and some of the areas there are ramps which are not ada compliant uh, we'll be uh, adding up all the ramps in the areas where we don't have any ramps and also we'll be replacing uh, ramps which are not ADA compliant and uh, are having any kind of hazard in for using that uh, ramps. So on the right side, you can see uh, how the ADA compliant uh, ramp looks like. Similarly, uh, we have uh, some areas which are having a really bad um, sidewalks and it is a uh, like a tripping hazard and is fairly walkable in some areas we'll be uh, replacing all those sidewalks and also you you see some of the uh, small gaps in between the sidewalks we'll be going ahead and filling up those sidewalks uh, gaps and we'll be constructing the new sidewalks in this area uh, on the pic picture on the right you can see uh, the uh, the way it would look like how um, when we will be done with the sidewalks, uh, it will look something like the picture on the right. So in the second phase, we, we will be doing the asphalt paving uh, would be done uh, after all the flat work is done. All the uh, concrete uh, sidewalks, ramps and curbs and gutters are done. Uh, we'll begin the asphalt paving in, uh, in October 2021. And we expect to complete within that month for the paving. This is a picture for uh, to show how the uh, as, as, uh, the pavement looks like right now, and how would it be after uh, we'll be done with the paving. So uh, during the construction, you would see some of the impacts of the construction in your area. Uh, you you'll be uh, hearing some of the equipment sounds and dust going around. Um, there might be some limited parking, and you'll see the construction equipment around in the area. Uh, we are taking uh, uh, steps to minimize these construction impacts, and for that uh, we are trying to communicate uh, to the to the citizens and uh, for every everything that we are doing uh, in the area. We'll be putting up the signages all around the area to notify the citizens and the people who are passing by uh, to know that construction is going on. And uh, we'll be uh, communicating with the residents throughout the construction uh, whenever there's uh, 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 we're doing anything to uh, uh, block the uh, driveway or road, we'll be communicating everything to the citizens throughout the construction. Uh, the regular working hours would be Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, we'll be also granting on, if required, we'll be granting uh, permission for to contractor to work on weekends, but that totally depends on, on the requirement. If, if required, we will uh, grant that permission to the contractor. So if you have any questions during the uh, construction, uh, this is uh, my number. I'm the project manager for this project. Uh, my number is 817-392-7968 uh, and my email address is salman.shahid at fortworthtexas.gov. So if you have any questions, uh, please go ahead. Um, we do have uh, one in chat. Um, he says he'll be moving out of the area on April 28th. How can he be sure that uh, our work won't impede the ability for moving vans to get to his house? We we all we always grant access to to uh, any property, any lot. It's going to be convenient if we have to replace the south wall. 
or the driveway in front of any any residence, we will coordinate with with this with the residents at, the, at that time. Let them know what's going on. If they have to take their uh, vehicles out to put it on the side of the road, till it's secured. But in case of emergency or something like that, we always do whatever it takes to get him out. So it's going to be a limited access just during that particular time when we do the drive in front of any house or any resident. But it will be always access to anybody on the road, but not closing the road. Thank you, Riyadh. Any other questions? Solomon, there's oh, we have one more. So the vans will have access. Did you say that you will let residents? Yes, we the block? Yes, yeah. we will uh, we will let the residents know that when we come in, it's gonna be we'll put notices on the doors and on the door hang uh, seven days prior to moving in. And also, we'll let them know that in two days, three days, that's we come in. And also, we'll let them know when we're going to be working on that particular driveway. Because we're not going to be working on all the driveways at the same time. So, but for any particular driveway, we'll let them know when we come in and the duration of the project. Because it's going to take one day to remove the concrete, old concrete. Then take one day, the second day, normally the the they form it and for the concrete, but it's going to take uh, about a week to cure. So we don't want any vehicles in and out. So if anybody's has a vehicle in their garage, they want to want to use it during that period of time. I think we're going to have to park it in the street somewhere to make sure that it's going to travel on, on with uh, concrete. But we will let them know, I mean, each individual House will let them know when we're coming, when we're going to be working on their driveway, if we're going to be working on the driveway. So we're not going to be doing every driveway. If, if we can get the address for the resident and the contact information, we can reach out to them and um, again, get the address and make sure that we're not working in that area uh, during that time in which he needs to move out. Yes, sure. If you can uh, share the uh, address, I, I can note it down and make sure that. Uh, we don't uh, block anything during that time for that for that uh, for the day. Okay, thank thank you, David. Come on. He, yeah, he said he email you. So, okay, good. excellent. Um, there yeah, aren't any other it. questions in chat. So, and and please, everybody, keep the 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 number handy. You know the project manager's name and number, and you can call them anytime. So, you know. If you have any question or something we need to do to get anybody in and out. All right, if we don't have any more questions, we'll uh, finish the meeting here. Uh, just let me know if any other residents have any questions or uh, they can uh, call me or email me. Uh, Again, my phone number is 817-392-7968 and my uh, email address is salman.chai at fortworthtexas.gov. Uh, once again, thank you everyone for attending. Have a great evening. Thank you.